that. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Holy moly. What is that orange thing? It's blinding me. Whoa, yes. Come on. Liquid gold. Someone from San Francisco it was interested in 1926 uh, Rolls Royce. See what happens with that, eh? I need you. I need you. Moving up in the world. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell to get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. I think it helps. No one really knows. And if you comment, you're a legend. In today's video, it stopped raining for a week. Um, that was a lie. It hasn't. It's still very, very wet. And I was meant to do this, apparently you meant to do this monthly. I definitely do not. I think it has officially been in for 12 months this time. And this is obviously the separator that we have. You can see she's slightly mucky because we had a bit of a problem at firing out the top because it's firing in so fast at one point, which is exciting. But you can see we've been running it over the weekend with the solar as well. It works because you can run this for free. Obviously, I think it's about 11 and a half kilowatt system and we run it for about three or four hours. So we put this in, in I think February last year. And if I'm honest, it has been absolutely clap, genuinely. What it does to start with, so it's a separator. So it separates the thick and the thin muck. So all the slurry from our reception pit, which is there, where the cues are, comes up, pumps, goes through a corkscrew here. Uh, it's like a press. And then it presses it on all the liquid, all the liquor. Don't liquor, you've only just met her. <laughs> If you watch Max tuning, you'll get that joke. The liquor, so like the liquid, comes out of here, into there, down there, into a system, and then gets pumped under that road and into there. So that's how that works. And then the thick stuff comes through here, and it just slowly pushes out like that. Obviously, I don't have it running at the moment. And then you can see we are properly, properly full of muck. Should I have gone all the way to the end bay? Yes. Yes, I should. No ifs or buts or maybes about it. I should have not spoken to Dad that that extra bit of concrete would have cost not a lot. Two more panels down the side and we would have hold a lot more muck, like another bay of muck. And we are getting lots at the moment. So this is obviously full. It'll push up quite well-ish. You can see my slurry stores getting full again. Got to love it. Um, but yeah, today's job is we are going to clear this off. Ben said I need to do it every month. I've done it a number of zero times the last 12 months. I'm gonna do it annually. I know it's meant to be monthly, but who is doing this monthly? I'm sorry, but it, it's not happening. This thing this year, I'm just gonna clean this up for some chatting. Time is, time is money. Has saved us so much. Uh, it, it has been the perfect year to get it. It's been so wet and storage wise, we don't have enough storage anyway. Um, I am looking at that grant to get more storage in. There's a grant for like slurry towers and slurry lagoons. So I'm definitely gonna have to look at that just because we just don't have enough. So that's me plan. Nice gear change. Okay, can't find it, grind it. But we'll get rid of this. Because what we're gonna have to do is, because it goes through a screen, so imagine, I hope you can see me with the sun. So because it goes through a screen, and it twists through a screen, the thin stuff goes through it like a colander. You know, like you're draining pasta, it's a perfect way. Imagine having the pasta in the water, that's what the first muck is. Pull it in a colander, all the water goes in left with the pasta. This is pasta. In there, in our tower, is the pasta juice. No one likes the pasta juice. Oh, here we go. Right, we're slowly winning. I bet there's a way to run this dry, but I don't know what it is. So we're doing it the hard way, like everything I do in my life. Oh, I'll tell you what I will do before we do anything. Somebody watching this says, Tom, you don't have to do that, you can just take it off. Well, I'm on my own, and I can grab loot later. Might just take a bit of the weight off. That is clear. So it goes through there. So those, those normally, if it was proper clear, they hold back and they hold it back so it's a nice bung and then it squeezes it. Sieves are in there as well and there is a grease point to grease here. It does need power washing because it's not, it's actually stopped doing that now, which is good. It was when we were using it in summer, summer and obviously you don't use it as much. What we're expecting, because we have a lot of cow brushes obviously and the cow's playing on the cow brush now, uh, we're expecting a lot of hair to be on there, could have plastic, could have paper. And what will happen if those holes get bunged up? Like, a colander is a really, really good example. If those holes get bunged up, it could slow the way it's separating. If it can't do it all, this will fill up and then the excess goes back into the slurry system. And it works quite well, actually, because in front of those, this shed here, which I'll show you, there are slats. So it fires it back down the slat and kind of like circulates our slurry. So honestly, it, it's... It's been class and it was a really, really, really good decision to do it. It's just um, the expenditure at the time, but it's probably one of the best purchases I've done. 
it doesn't sound very exciting. I know it's all about slurry and stuff, but I'm gonna put this down here because if that fell off, I'd be annoyed. That humming you can hear is a cow playing on brushes. It's genuinely one of the highlights of my day every day, looking at cows playing on brushes. Very weird and out. It's really nice to see. And the reason I'm doing this today is because obviously it's still raining. And I'm, I am quite concerned about what's gonna happen when it does dry up because there's gonna be so much work to do. We have Katie on a Monday and then we have Anna Tuesday to Friday and obviously me and Luke full time. That was just to help because dad's obviously been off and he's back in hospital unfortunately. So I'll explain it's a bit too, we don't really know, we kind of do know what's going on but we don't at the same time. So I'll let you know when I hear more about it. I just knew spring was gonna be busy. And then instead of me scraping up and bedding up cars every morning, which and cows every morning and night, I was still doing. We got someone in, so I had a dad job. So when we start doing the maze and we start doing field work again, I can actually be free. Be free. So we push it up on Friday. What happens is though, it rains and the water goes there and it pushes it all down. Because that's only a bay high. So we're just going to push grass up. Grass, muck up. For the new day. I do have good news though, it's getting hot, which means summer will come. I think it's the only day of dry this week, maybe tomorrow as well. Paint in the arm. I need a crowbar. Just better than a crowbar, an old time, and a bar. I'm gonna go for a crowbar, you can laugh at me later. This is going to be a nightmare. It's actually working quite well. I said that. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Heights and rats. Feel like the old fatty poo on it. Gross. Luke's smashing it with the uh, Daiichi. It's a beast of a thing. Wow. It's actually coming out, coming out quite nice. So that's it. That's the sim. Keep coming, keep coming. Be careful. My mate's got the same separator and he said it was an absolute nightmare. And I don't think that was that bad at all. You can kind of see like the the fatty bits of muck, which I'm a big fan of muck, like it, but that is horrible, horrible. So my very first job on my farm was to clean our old separator out, like proper job when I was 15, by hand, and it got stuck. I'll tell you what, that'll put some hairs on your chest. We used to have an old like paddle one, it ate itself in the end. This one's class, just easy. And obviously you've got this, so you can change that. And then the, screw as well is actually plastic and it comes in parts you tell them which part's broken and you can take that bit of plastic off and redo it green i bet your big o's are nearly washed out yeah i bet big o's you can see all the old fat on it i'm quite impressed at how clear it is you can see a bit of hair on it but nothing crazy it must have been separated through and gone into the thick stuff it must not go through the hair hey annually we've got this in a year now have we I think it was Not February, really I think it was February last year. I think so. Like that. So all the thin stuff will come out of it, and the thick stuff will stay in the middle.
they also say to do that with a pressure washer but that is crystal clean that very impressed myself holy moly what is that orange thing it's blinding me right so that's done which is good grease gone right, where's the brat I know, it's quite impressive. How much water do you reckon is going to be left in that bucket by the time Luke's got it up there? That's a big debate. Look at this sun, by the way. I'm toasty with all those waterproofs on, gloves on. <whistles> Sorry, someone mentioned Tom. Stop whistling. Is this testing Luke's skill or the Daiichi's uh, boom suspension? Uh, I'll get it there. This is definitely a sunny day job. Cannot believe how well this came out. What are you laughing at? Any young farmer going to Blackpool AGM? Terrorizer. Terrorizer. Katie Hall. She's gonna she's apparently just gonna paint the town red and Blackpool's not gonna see what hit it. I don't know, it's weird. She's very, very confident for a 18-year-old. The other thing as well, Ben did tell me to do, I did ring him beforehand, is to grease this on <laughs> Katie's learning about greasing. Are you excited about it? Yeah. Thrilled. Oh, I know she's there. That'll do. But it says grease here. Woohoo! Don't love an easy, easy nipple. <laughs> Josh, you fucking don't like. <laughs> an empty grease cord. <laughs> Why? Every time I pick a grease cord, it's got nothing in. To be fair, I used it last. Katie, oh, yeah, there's car. a grease cartridge in the front of the Hurleyman. I think I have to take it off. Why does that happen every time? So Luke is having to go help Katie. Always the case. Whilst we're going to wash that. Um, because she is a, what is she? A first year ag student. What, how long has she been there? Four months? She doesn't know what grease cartridge is. Gotta love her. She's a proper dairy farmer, isn't she? She's a dairy farmer. There's a grease unit to do that. That just greases the main shaft of everything. And what's really good about this separator, which was class my dad loved, um, was that, let's say it leaks out of that seal. It'll just drop on the floor. It won't go all into the gearing. So if all the slurry went to gearing, it would bollocks it, I think. I wish it was here because it could explain it really, really well. But yeah, if it would go, it's only going to go there. And it's not going to go all here, which is class because it saves me money. I talk about saving me money. Do you know what's really annoying? Well, annoying for me, uh, these are now on Grant. So if anyone's seen the new Grant, it's like all the process, protests happened, in Wales at least anyway, and it's like, it used to be a 40% Grant, everything's like 50-60% Grant, mad. So yeah, these are on Grant now, so if you are going to get one, I reckon the amount of muck here, has it saved 30% of muck? I don't know, but this was empty, empty, empty. Yes, we've used a bit of our straw muck, but I don't think we've mucked out any pens at this side of the farm. And we should have gone to the end. Do I go to the end? I don't know, maybe. But yeah, at least 20%. I'll tell you what, genuinely, genuinely, I should have done this earlier to be fair. But it's good because I didn't need to do it, but I was kind of like, you make a job hard and you won't do it. And I thought it was going to be hard. Mark fit, and again, I spoke to you and you said, oh, it's really difficult, that job. It's not, I smashed it. Imagine 40% off this. They're not cheap. But putting a slurry towel is not cheap. Oh, it's not cheap either. It did explode. You should have seen it. So we used to turn it on and you used to have to scarf her off. But it was because of our slurry, I think. Our slurry was it was coming in so fat, fast. And because it was dry, and they're the dry cows, that was really thick muck. So obviously we'd go down the pipe, hit the pipe, and it would take a bit to just get us flow. So it would back up into here and go and then you have to run. Master will be happy with that, won't they? How many mums have you been at our college? It's like, it's like splitting an atom, this. Six. Six? And you didn't know what a grease cartridge looked like? Enough. Why did you bring a bottle of oil? Back your own No, because it was not in the car. So why would you bring oil? Well, I don't know, I just thought 
This is our next generation. To be fair, to be fair to Katie, I know I'm taking the mick out of her, but she has been very, very good. <laughs> oh. oh, damn it. Is it cracked it? Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Took it off, show you, Dick. <laughs> she, that's knackered. Katie, get me a new goose gun. This is what we have to work with. After I was saying that she is half decent, to be fair, it is quite nice to have a bit of a laugh whilst working. Right, here we go. Yeah, he says. Whoa, yes, come on! Loads of grease in this. There we go, full of grease. That is so annoying. So we're currently generating 82.4 kilowatts, which is class, using 40 kilowatts. That is on there. Let's just see what it does. Yeah, turn it on. We're at 40.7. So slurry should be going in there. Really hope it works. There we go, I had a bit of a bung to start. With. Oh, yes. Turn it up. I should have given it a bung to start with. <clears throat> There we go, now she's cooking on gas. It had no bung in the teeth. There's teeth in there that were spitting out. And I forgot to push them back. There we go. Yeah, she left that muck in. If you leave the muck in, it leaves a bung. And when you first have it, those teeth are perfectly down, aren't they? Did so well and didn't get my hands dirty. Right at the end. And you can, you can hear it filling up with that pipe. That's the overflow pipe. Here, obviously, this separated muck is now coming through. It's gone there, and then the liquor is going there, and we'll see it fire into there in a bit. And there we go. That's it as well. I'll chuck it onto the screen. We are generating 82.3 kilowatts. We are using 38.9, 39.940, and we are putting 43.5 kilowatts back into the system. I am working on an export. Currently, I'm getting like 2p from export. Working on go low carbon people and they're trying to get me 12 to 15 and they get me my price down so i'll tell you if that actually works um because they are working on it but i'll tell you if they actually can say they can do what they say on the tin and then it comes out like that and what some people have said to me is oh tom you just put it there and it gets rained on again yeah but it's taking the slurry out so it's taking all what's it, like the nitrogen like this is like liquid gold now it's fantastic that stuff will make more grass grow than you imagine there we go now she's working beautiful and on that bombshell i'm gonna leave you there guys if you like if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel i can't believe we didn't clean that earlier but i'm well impressed at how easy it went in going back in was much more difficult and little things i had to learn but it is a class machine it needs looking after it needs a bit of a clean it's had grease which is good i'll finish washing it off now we'll let it go and i'm currently running it for absolute nothing because the solar panels are paying for it class obviously i've got my monthly payments on the solar panels but do you know what I mean? Not getting a bill for it. Really, really good. I have a load of straw coming right now from Morgan. Well, Holly Blogs, he's dropping a load of straw off, straw off for me. Um, and we've got some sawdust as well, so I'm gonna do a compare of that. Uh, we sent some beef away last week, really good video. And thank you very much everyone who's uh, asked about Dad. He was doing really, really well. And last Thursday, took a backwards turn because he didn't go to Pete's with me. And uh, he's back in hospital, unfortunately. Went on Friday. He stayed in the waiting room from six o'clock. Friday p.m. till 8, 9 o'clock Saturday a.m. sat in a waiting room. They found an abscess in his spine and it looks like they're gonna have to go in and operate again. Uh, he got sent to Preston yesterday. Now he's getting sent to Chorley today. But I'll keep you updated. He's fine, he's in good spirits. He's telling me about all these things on grants and we might be looking at a sword lifter for the ground. Obviously you can see how compact and wet it is. Um, and looking at one of those aerators as well. And he's looking at a Jetta as well. The problem with my dad when he has time, he goes on YouTube or he goes on Google and finds the grants and finds a way to spend money. But obviously we'd have me, Luke, Katie today, and me, Luke, Anna normally. We're just getting ready for field work. I'm kind of like itching to go, but we're weeks away. Well, we're a week of this good weather actually getting on there, which is a pain in the ass. We'll get there. And today, obviously these guys give me a hand and I try and video and stuff, so they're a bit slower um, because of me. Because someone mentioned, oh, sometimes you guys are a bit steady. It's like, ah, it's my fault normally anyway. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you do want to separate like these, um, like me, be clever and get it on the grant. Looking at a sword lifter from Shreers. I'm looking at a lot of stuff on the grant for next year. Silage pusher. 
I was looking at one of the story pushes, but I don't think it's worth it for me. It's like 30 grand and I can just get a scraper tractor. I'm not going to do it. Silage push would be important. It dad's look at the jet air, look at the sword lifter, because we have the bigger tractor now. We've convinced him for the bigger tractors. Look at the grants. There is so much stuff out there at the moment. I'm not getting this backdated now, am I? So it's one of those, it's money spent and it's probably saved me this year anyway. So it saved me in a different way. I'm very impressed. Yeah, well, I did that. Easy. It's not washed very well. Bit of acid rain will sort it out. Oh, and a big thanks to everyone who commented on the video on Sunday. And I don't know if it's actually true or not. I need to email on the back, actually. Um, someone from San Francisco it was interested in 1926 uh, Rolls Royce. See what happens with that, eh? Pete rung me and said, Oh, cheers for the video, Tom. It was good. I was like, Oh, thanks for letting me around. What an inspirational guy. Class, isn't it? Like, from nothing to. What it does now is mental. Oh, tell you what I can look at as well. The liquor. The liquor. I only just met it. <laughs> that is it coming in. I've not had the bubbler on over the weekend because we're just sorting out this energy thing. So we've gone on to a higher tariff, so I didn't want to spend loads on it. Full again, I know. It will dry up. Someone did say to me it's going to be dry next week. I'll tell you what. I need to get some slurry out. Double teaming. Morgan has upgraded to the Daiichi. Yeah, what? Tell you what, wash your mouth out with soap. Unloading some bales now. These must have been last year because they're smaller bales. And Katie is learning how to scroll chop. And they're howling cows. Oh, and guess what broke down today? Ask Ollie Vlogs about it. What? I think the bearing's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Asking for a mate. <laughs> 